Welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is Tennessee State University and the national education agenda. And we're fortunate to have with us to talk about Tennessee State University and the national education agenda, the president of uh, Tennessee State University, uh, Dr. Melvin uh, uh, Johnson. And of course, Dr. Johnson, let me welcome you to of the show this morning and to tell you how delighted we are to have you, but also to remind our audience, as many of them will probably remember, uh, that we had you on an earlier occasion. As a matter of fact, when you first came uh, to uh, Tennessee State University, you gave us an excellent interview. And uh, because of uh, some of the things that are going on in education today and some of the statements that you've made in reference uh, to uh, so the uh, so-called national agenda in education, we thought it might be good if you could come by and tell us how uh, the uh, national education agenda has an impact upon your institution, uh, Tennessee State University. And of course, we want you to do that. But before we do that, let's uh, talk about Melvin Johnson to give you an opportunity to say something about your background, education, and experiences. And then we'll get into the other aspects of the show. Well, thank you so much mm -hmm. for the opportunity, Dr. Haney. And mm -hmm. I certainly do thank you mm -hmm. for uh, allowing me to have the first interview. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, this time in my tenure at mm -hmm. Tennessee State University, mm -hmm. it's very apropos that mm -hmm. we talk about how the university is helping President Obama mm -hmm. uh, reach the uh, national agenda and the mm -hmm. national goals mm -hmm. that he set aside. Mm -hmm. uh, I grew up in Savannah, Georgia. Mm -hmm. uh, as a young child, I went to Catholic uh, elementary school, mm -hmm. uh, graduated, uh, attended public high mm -hmm. school, and uh, then went off to, t to uh, North Carolina A&T State University for my bachelor's degree in economics. And at that time, I was a, a, a distinguished military graduate of the program in ROTC. And then I went in to serve in the United States Air Force. So mm -hmm. I had a full career, 22 years as a US military officer, mm -hmm. and was stationed worldwide, had lots of experiences there. Mm -hmm. But in that time frame, I got involved with higher education at the Air Force Academy. Mm -hmm. I taught there and uh, they allowed me to go back for a second master's degree and also my doctorate mm -hmm. at Indiana University. Mm -hmm. All of my degrees are in economics, mm -hmm. uh, economics and public policy. Mm -hmm. Very good. And so you've got uh, quite a bit of experience dealing with uh, the situation that we find ourselves in today, uh, dealing with recession and whatnot. But let's uh, uh, look at uh, before the end of this uh, particular segment, uh, uh, Dr. Johnson, some of the things that uh, uh, have been said to be very, very important in terms of education and how we are to meet this education challenge. What, what do you see as some of the uh, real challenges that we have in education today? Well, if, if you stop and think about uh, some of the comments that Governor Bredesen has made mm -hmm. about uh, the challenges that we have mm -hmm. uh, from, high, from high school uh, into college, mm -hmm. you'll begin to see. Let's take uh, 109th graders, mm -hmm. as uh, the governor said. If you look at that population, uh, only about 19 of them will end up out of that pipeline mm -hmm. graduating uh, from uh, a two-year institution mm -hmm. or from a four-year institution mm -hmm. like Tennessee State. Mm -hmm. That's 19%. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is really, really uh, something mm -hmm. that we've got to get a handle on. Mm -hmm. uh, Obama's national agenda is, of course, to take over the number one spot in the world mm -hmm. as far as college-educated uh, uh, adults are concerned. And uh, so if we're to meet that goal, we have to do much better mm -hmm. uh, in terms of our um, high school graduation mm -hmm. rates and uh, college preparation. Mm -hmm. And then at the collegiate level, Good. we've got to do a better job of ensuring that those students persist mm -hmm. and that uh, we retain them mm -hmm. and that they go on towards uh, mm -hmm. graduation. Mm -hmm. So that is the challenge. Now, it, w within your own uh, situation, what do you see at uh, Tennessee State University that, that you really need in order to uh, be able to uh, do what you have to do? Well, we've got to uh, at least uh, help to prepare the teacher mm -hmm. uh, population. Uh, mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, uh, we've done a, a good job in terms of pre uh, teacher preparation. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we've got to enhance their capabilities mm -hmm. to make sure that the students that graduate from mm -hmm. the K-12 uh, institutions are coming college ready. Mm -hmm. And so I think the uh, college, uh, uh, mm -hmm. the American Diplomacy Project is a good one that mm -hmm. will help us to do that. And uh, it will help us to improve the high school graduation mm -hmm. rates and uh, make sure that the, the mm -hmm. students are prepared once they enter the mm -hmm. four-year institutions. And, 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 and so in a real sense, uh, as we um, get ready for the uh, first commercial break here, uh, Dr. Johnson, in a real sense, uh, I think everybody would agree that this is a crisis situation for education in uh, the United States. Well, I think, it, I think it mm -hmm. really is. And it's, mm -hmm. uh, it reminds me a whole lot 
Mm -hmm. And I know you should remember mm -hmm. this, of when we had the Russians to beat us in space, space good. Uh, mm -hmm. with Sputnik. Mm -hmm. uh, we turned that, our whole national mm -hmm. agenda, set aside our strategic goals mm -hmm. around improving the mm -hmm. science and technology mm -hmm. in our country. And, and so this is another wake-up call. This the is a wake-up call. Very good. And of course, uh, this is, uh, let us have this first commercial break, and then we'll come back and we'll uh, deal with some other issues that uh, you believe to be important. Uh, in dealing with this. And, and of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. <laughs>